We had people from the Ministry of Health and also from the city of Vindu that said, as long as people don't cram themselves together and the space out. Reverend Gavaseb died on the 1st of September, but was only buried two weeks later. This is contrary to the health protocol which requires a COVID-19 related death to be disposed of within 72 hours. This is adding more to the confusion that is going on around the world and around uh, Namibia and is adding to the conspiracy uh, theories uh, about COVID-19. So somewhere, somehow, I think uh, uh, maybe the family knows, but uh, the nation also, I think, needed to know. The incident sparked anger among family and congregants who locked horns with the authority. I think they were not sure. They were not having results. Uh, proof to me, there is the brother, or proof to the family, the wife and children, uh, that there is a, a positive result from the test of the state. Um, so, so that is also a problem for us. Mourners forcefully entered the cemetery in their number to bid farewell, as opposed to the proposed five family members only. We, as a family, and also as the association, we are confused as to whether it was a COVID-19 case. Others could not believe it was a COVID-19 death, as if that was the case, his body was not supposed to be kept for more than 72 hours. There was a lack of communication between the ministry and to the family. Because if I don't make a call, nobody will call. If I don't do a follow-up, nobody will come back to the family. Since it was a COVID, as, the, as it was said by the state, um, uh, uh, and by the by the by 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 all the newspapers and all the social media, nobody from the ministry was at the family to console them to guide them. If it was really a COVID-19 case, if there was certainty, surely it was going to be after passing already um, a whole week. They were going to bury it mom momentarily when they would have found out, unless there's something still being investigated. The Ministry of Health was going to be the first one to come and stop us here. Contacted for comments, the executive director in the Ministry of Health, Ben Nangombe, told the NBC News that the officials of the ministry did everything possible to engage the family as per established protocols, but the family was not forthcoming. Nangombe reiterated that the law should be fairly applied regardless of social, religious, economical or social status in society. The late Gaweseb was a long-serving pastor and was the chairperson of the Association of Charismatic and Pentecostal Churches of Namibia. He also served in various committees such as the National Church Task Force on COVID-19. Gawaseb, who retired from public service last year, was also vocal on the issues of ancestral land claims and land reform in Namibia. Daniel Nadung, NBC News, Vent Hook.